I guess so. So, guys, well, let's keep it yeah. very quick. Yes. And, uh, yes. you know, uh, basically, uh, this is an important message for the future attempts, for the future shifts, mm. right from 5th April to 9th April. Mm. And we have done the analysis. Mm. So, I will start off with chemistry first because chemistry analysis is a little bit uh, very crucial and even yes. you will see physics also. Not much in maths, but there are some important points for maths as well. Okay. Okay, so I have just written it down. That's why I'm just going to read it. So, let me start with uh, your uh, inorganic questions first. Inorganic, the most repeated topic was dipole moment. There were in both the shifts, there were two questions. Ionization and electron gain enthalpy. Vesper theory, that was shape, geometry and hybridization. You have to read that. Number of unpaired electrons were asked from coordination compounds. Apart from that, uh, from... No, I think it has been retracted. Uh, no, okay, no, can, it's, can it's fine. Yeah, it's there. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, there. right? Okay, now quickly going to physical chemistry, guys. Physical chemistry, there were questions from Hess law in both the shifts. Kinetic energy from structure of atom. And uh, Bohr's model, please go through, uh, angular momentum has been asked. But there is chance that energy, radius or velocity will be asked in the next shift. And now for organic chemistry, uh, Durgesh Nandini ma'am, over to you. Yeah, so I have pinned, uh, pinned, uh, pinned down all the topics that have been asked. So first of all, please focus on isomerism, especially both structural as well as stereoisomerism. Focus on all the name reactions, right? Very, very important. Direct name reactions are asked. You don't have to go into much detail. Next thing is please focus on all the common names that is given in your NCRT. There's so many molecules in there. Common names are given. And again, this year, so many common names are asked. For example, what is vanillin? What is mesitylene, etc., etc. Next is the important reagent to focus on are the elimination reagents. For example, alcoholic KOH as well as all your hydration reagents. For example, what is hydroboration oxidation, oxymercuration, demercuration, and your normal uh, hydration that happens with H plus and H2O. Right, and also don't forget to do your practical organic chemistry Very book important. because so many questions are asked, oh especially God. from the uh, purification part. You mean the experimental the physics Yeah, experimental physics. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, okay. yeah. uh, so these are the important okay. topics as well as aromaticity, as you know, the basicity acidity order, that is the prevalent topics. So that's all you have to focus on. Please focus on the basics. That is it. Don't go into much detail. And yes. you will be very fine for your chemistry part. All right. Yes. So one last addition from from thermodynamics physical chemistry make sure that you go through isothermal adiabatic reversible process is very important it will come it will come go ahead okay great yes. Done. so thank you for the in-depth analysis ma'am so uh, you know in chemistry uh, only one question was debatable if I'm not wrong regarding Dalton's the Dalton's uh, theory, yes. theory so basically it tells you that if you are aiming for full marks mm -hmm. or a close to uh, you know 99.9 .9 percentile marks then maybe you can try and remember those things which were in the deleted part but if you are aiming for 99 plus 99.4 then guys there is no need to worry about anything which is deleted right Correct. so don't worry about it yes with regards to physics the paper was very balanced you know in fact i saw many questions that got repeated from the last one week models which we have done on the youtube channel Yes. In fact, yeah, there were direct yes. questions like the question of center of mass. The same question was repeated. Uh, I told you about, you know, uh, this thing, the combination of uh, lenses that was directly repeated. So there were just standard models. Now the problem in physics was not the, it's, it's not that the entire paper was easy. There were a couple of questions which were slightly on the higher side. If you know the formula, you will be able to do it within seconds. But if you don't know it, then remember you have to do it via integration and big derivations. Now the problem is these formulas are not there in NCRT, which means that you will have to push yourself a little bit beyond NCRT in your coaching modules like Tatua and all that. You will find these formulas. So if you are targeting again, I would repeat almost like more than 90 marks in physics then you will have to push yourself really hard but getting till 70 80 marks will not be very difficult that's what i saw in physics it's little bit better than your january attempt how was maths ma'am so mathematics paper as sir said i also feel that i found it better than uh, january attempt and the question questions were easy on the easier side 
conceptually they were easier for example we've got a question from sequence and series the moment we look at we'll like okay i can do it do this question approachable but the moment you start solving it you realize that the question is on the lengthier side that's the only problem in mathematics and both the shifts were observed so if the questions are lengthy automatically the mathematics paper will shift towards the tougher side not because the difficulty level but because of the lengthy or the time management mm. problem so i guess i have always told this that for a lengthier paper question selection is the key you have to select the right questions right okay so i guess that's about it for mathematics and also this time uh, one more thing observe that uh, every time calculus was on the higher weightage but this time algebra was asked oh. more then calculus oh, okay oh. and uh, yeah so mostly the question were, were doable again like physics uh, there were a few questions which were a little bit difficult but again we have that uh, uh, privilege to leave that questions because again mathematics cut off goes a little bit on lower side so you have to leave skip that those questions which are extremely tough okay. or extremely lengthy okay Next so sense. basically uh, the choice of questions is going yes. to matter a lot if you try for you know solving everything then you will suffer be little bit careful yeah. if you talk about the percentiles you know it got really messed up in the first attempt yeah. in the second attempt i have a very good feeling that it will be much better yeah. i think it is little bit better yeah, organized definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. i think uh, even the uh, chemistry paper as we were saying in the first shift right, it, was, it was like a ninth or 10th question paper see. but this time it's not that again yeah. i think it can be pushed a little further for j mains attempt maybe if we want yeah. to really get into that whole j feel uh, but i i think it it's still doable as well as there were certain questions which were you know it required a little bit of, of thinking. your okay. thinking yeah. yes exactly but expect chemistry to be on the easier side yeah, and allot always. the least time to chemistry so correct. that you can oh, allot most yeah. time to mathematics that has been yes. always the thumb rule of always attempting j yeah. paper guys always uh, make up time in your uh, chemistry and True. use that in mathematics that's how it is okay and start with chemistry direct questions you Start can solve chemistry. it fast and then you can you know then complete physics because that is also easier to solve first then allot your time for mathematics lesser questions more percentile and you know it's lengthier so yeah. keep that for the last so basically remember guys for the next few uh, days from 5th april to 9th april uh, whatever discussions we did on the channel it's very very critical and very important because the same models will be repeated 100% in almost every shift and you're going to find that and whatever videos we have done previously watch that as well because correct. those are very important we did 1000 plus questions uh, correct, in the week before correct, correct. and uh, before that we had the two week challenge and then the mm -hmm. last week we did all the amazing mock tests so watch those videos that's all you need okay those who have exam tomorrow do not miss out on the mock test the predictor paper yeah very important we correct. have actually predicted a lot of questions yeah. and they were both there in the mock test as well as in the predictor paper so please yeah. don't miss out on that and Did don't worry about the percentiles percentiles will be normal this time don't before. expect too many variations like with happened in the first attempt okay so that's a good thing which nta has done and we should actually you know appreciate that uh, we always criticize if things go wrong we should also appreciate when things go well also okay so all the best all study the best. well and sleep well okay bye bye now we are heading back home and i will see you guys <laughs> tomorrow okay bye, bye. bye. Take all care. the best guys bye guys bye